second sum find the population of a city at any time t so let a be the amount of population amount of population at time t so given the rate of increase of population is proportional to the population so da by dt is a directly proportional to e after that see here at an instant to the popul at an instant and that in a period of 40 years the population is increased to 3 lakh to 4 lakh at a period of 40 years from 40 years the population is increased from 3 lakh to 4 lakh so i will write the table like this time t population because i take an amount of population so i take it as a itself population a initially initially there will be 3 lakh 3 lakh initially 3 lakh after 40 years after 40 years the population is 4 lakh that's all they given nothing else find the population of a city at a time t i need to find population i need to find a that's all so using this only we need to find population using this tabular column only we need to find population what is the population going to present so very easy sum no toughest da by dt da by dt remove the proportional symbol use k proportionally constant ke let dt moves here a comes down da by a is equal to k into dt integrating on both sides as constant is as k is a constant move it outside da by a is nothing but log a is equal to k integration of t dt is t add a constant log c let log c comes here log a minus log c is equal to kt log a minus log b log a by b therefore a by c is equal to kt e is present remove the log therefore a by c is equal to e moves here e power kt c comes here a is equal to c e power kt so keep it as equation one still i need to find the constant c so putting case one this is case one case one t is equal to zero a is equal to three lakh initially t is equal to zero and a is equal to three lakh so what is going to answer here apply in one because i need to find c no apply in one what is a three lakh is equal to c e power k what is a t zero three lakh c e power k into zero is e power zero what is e power zero one so e power zero is one one into c is c therefore c is equal to three lakh three lakh i have found c still now i don't know c now i found the c value of c now apply c in this equation apply c in one apply c in one therefore a is equal to three lakh e power k into t three lakh e power k this is equation two keep it as equation two therefore this is become main equation therefore case two i need to apply here only therefore case two case two t is equal to 40 a is equal to four lakh apply in two apply in equation two apply in equation two so what is a a is nothing but four lakh what is present here three lakh e power k what is a t here forty so one two three four five one two three four five cancel it this will be cancelled so three comes down 4 by 3 is equal to e power k i can write as all power 40 in previous sum also i told a power b into c i can write as a power b all power c a power b all power c a b c i can write as a b all power c so this 40 come this becomes e power k is equal to 4 by 3 40 this come the all power of 1 by 40 it becomes as whole power of 1 by 40 whole power of 1 by 40 if 
if 2 come this becomes whole power of 1 by 2 the same procedure also. So, we have found E also E is nothing but um, 4 by 3 1 by 40 keep it as. So, apply apply E power k E power k in equation 2 apply E power k in equation 2 apply A is equal to 3 lakh E power k E power k what is e power k e power k e power k is nothing but 4 by 3 e power k is nothing but 4 by 3 still 1 by 40 in still t is present into t so a is equal to 3 lakh 3 lakh 4 by 3 1 into t is t by 40 so this is the amount of population present amount of population present this is not 0 this is 4 okay well, 4 by 3 because e power k we know e power k e power k is 4 by 3 1 by 40 4 by 3 1 by 40 but t is present into t no so into t so 1 into t is t t by 40 so you need to write the last answer therefore amount of population amount of population is 3 lakh 4 by 3 t by 40. Thank you.